In the 17.2 release, we've added a feature so that you can enter in your affiliated club invoices and bill your members at the same time. To begin using this exciting new feature, what you'll first need to do is go to the vendor profile for the country club that is sending you the bill. So under vendors, pull up the country club, and then under the invoices slash payments tab, there's a new checkbox that says affiliated club invoice vendor. Make sure that this is checked off, and you also have the option of associating their member number from your accounts receivable module. What you'll also need is a billing item to use when actually billing your members for the charges that incurred on the affiliated club invoice. So under system administration and billing items, what you'll need is just at least one that's used for reciprocal clubs or affiliated clubs so that you can bill your club members for the charges that they've incurred. To use this new feature, what you'll need to do is go to Accounts Payable and then Invoice Processing. Start a new batch and go ahead and give it a reference of the affiliated club's name. Go ahead and add a new invoice and choose the vendor that you flagged as an affiliated club vendor. You'll notice once you choose that vendor that down below where you see Affiliated Club Charges, this is a new option. So this vendor triggers that to change so that in this step, step three, you can bill your members. Proceed as normal with the invoice. Go ahead and put in an invoice number, an invoice date, a due date, as well as the total purchase amount. And then down below what it's asking you for here is a GL account. So when you do an affiliated club invoice, the end result that you want is an entry to your account's payable GL and an entry to your account's receivable GL. You also have the option of charging an account for the recovery and also for the expense. So you can have two different GL accounts, both of them associated with affiliated club invoices, one of them that says how much you've charged your members and one of them that says how much other clubs have charged you. Some clubs will choose to have these accounts be the same, which means that at the end of the day it's a wash and all you're seeing is the entry to your accounts receivable and your accounts payable does not matter what you choose, but what needs to be selected here is the account that will be offset when you make the entry to your accounts payable. So this is the account that you're using to track how much have other clubs billed us. Once you've put in that account, you can go to step three, which is affiliated club charges, and go ahead and enter in your member by either keying in their numbers or choosing them off the list of members. Give a reference number and this is for the charge that will appear on the members account. Choose your sales area and the billing item and this is the billing item that is hopefully associated with the charge code that will bill the GL account that keeps track of how much have we billed our members. So again if you want those to be different this GL account will have to be different than the one you've put into step two. If you want them to be the same and you just want it to wash in your accounts this billing item should be affiliated with the same GL account that you've chosen in step two. Key in your description and the amount and when you've completed entering in all of your members you can go ahead and hit save. Now that we're back in the invoice processing screen under preview posting you'll see now I have one vendor one invoice for this posting and down below in my GL summary I have a credit going to accounts payable a debit going to accounts receivable, and there's two other lines as well. So this line here, the debit, would be the offset of the accounts payable. So this account, if I did not choose to have them be the same, would be the account that keeps track of how much have other clubs billed us. The fourth line is the offset to the accounts receivable posting, which is keeping track of how much have we billed our members. You'll notice that since I did make them the same, it's a wash, 480 debit, and 480 credit. So all that's going to happen when I post this invoice batch will be a credit to my accounts payable and a debit to my accounts receivable, as well as charges on my members' accounts. Go ahead and hit preview and then post as normal and you'll get your audit trail with your invoice. So now if you go to accounts receivable and then members and pull up one of the members that were on that affiliated club invoice, Looking at their account inquiry, in one easy step by putting in that affiliated club invoice, I've also billed the members that have been to that reciprocal club.